This is the Modern Founder Mashup, where founders have imagined conversations like never heard before. Dive into insightful conversations from some of history's most creative, courageous, and curious. Henry Ford and Enzo Ferrari are two of the most iconic and influential figures in automotive history. Ford, the American industrialist, pioneered mass production with the Model T and put automobiles within reach of the average consumer. Ferrari, the Italian racing driver turned entrepreneur, built the most storied name in high-performance sports cars. While they shared an all-consuming passion for automobiles, their philosophies and approaches could not have been more different. In this special episode, we've brought them together for a lively debate on what makes a great car and a great car company. Enzo, I've always believed in building a car for the great multitude, an automobile that anyone making a decent wage could afford and would be proud to own. That's what drove me to develop the Model T and the assembly line. I wanted to democratize the automobile. Ah, the Model T. A fine vehicle for its time, Henry. But it was so basic. Black paint, 20 horsepower, no luxuries. Where's the excitement in that? A car should stir the passions. But the Model T put America on wheels. It gave average folks unprecedented freedom and opportunity. By 1918, half the cars in America were Model Ts. You have to remember, I grew up on a farm. I saw firsthand how much easier and more productive life could be with an automobile. Now that's what motivated me. See, I understand. But to me, the automobile is art. It's poetry in motion. That's why I build race cars first and foremost. Winning La Corsa, that's what excites me. When Cortesi drove my 125S to victory in the 1947 Grand Prix of Rome, I wept with joy. I knew I had found my calling. Victory is sweet, but a business needs more than trophies to survive. Remember when we sent Charles Sorensen to audit your books in 1963? Your company was losing money on every car. If we hadn't offered to buy you out, the banks would have had your head. Ah, you tried to buy me out because you were jealous. Jealous of my racing success, my prestige. The deal fell apart because you wouldn't grant me complete autonomy over the racing operation. Ferrari is a sovereign entity, not some division of Ford. Now, Enzo, let's be fair. I have great respect for what you've built. But you have to admit, even Ferrari could benefit from some good old American efficiency and business sense. There's always room for improvement. That's my motto. Efficiency. Ha. Spoken like a true Yankee industrialist. In 1961, one of your so-called efficiency experts toured my Maranello factory. He called it antiquated. Said my workers wasted too much time handcrafting parts. Well, I threw him out on his ear. There's no other way to build a Ferrari. Sometimes tradition needs to make way for progress, Enzo. Just look at my River Rouge plant. Raw materials go in one end, finished automobiles come out the other. It's a marvel of vertical integration. Over 100,000 workers transforming iron and rubber into Model A's. You'll never match that kind of scale. I have no interest in building 100,000 of anything, Henry. Each Ferrari is handcrafted bespoke. Only 8,000 a year. That's fewer than you churn out in a day. But each one is special, collectible. A Dino, a Testarossa, these are moving sculptures. Yours are just appliances. We'll have to agree to disagree on that point. But I will say, you've kept racing while most other car makers have pulled out. There's something to be said for devotion to a goal greater than just the bottom line. Even if it occasionally drives you to the brink of bankruptcy. I cannot help myself, Henry. 
Racing is oxygen to me. It is the ultimate test of an automobile and a man. The danger, the glory, it is my addiction. Nothing thrills me more than seeing those blood red cars streak across the finish line. It's a metaphor for life itself. You Italians sure have a flair for the dramatic. But I can't argue with success. You've won every racing crown there is to win, multiple times over. The name Ferrari is synonymous with speed, with victory. Just promise me you'll keep an eye on those finances, eh? Finances? When you're as old as I am, Henry, you only care about two numbers. The number of races you've won and the number of breaths you've got left. I keep my eye on what I do best. And what's that, Enzo? Pushing man and machine to the absolute limit. Creating automotive art. Upholding the honor of Italia. You may have put America on wheels, but Italy will always be the beating heart of performance, of style, of racing spirit. That is Ferrari. Two different approaches, same unyielding spirit. Maybe we're not so different after all, Enzo. We both changed the automobile in our own way. Not bad for a couple of stubborn old men.